Non-weight-bearing assessment of the mid-tarsal joint is a popular open kinetic chain patient assessment. The mid-tarsal joint is formed by the calcaneocuboid and talonavicular articulations and allows movement of the foot in open kinetic chain in the frontal, sagittal and transverse planes. These combinations of planar movements include dorsiflexion, planar flexion, inversion, eversion and abduction and adduction. Non-weight-bearing examination of the mid-tarsal joint involves the assessment of the planal dominance with respect to the axis of orientation and relative movements in each of these three planes. Range of motion assessment of the available inversion, eversion, dorsiflexion, planar flexion and adduction and abduction for signs of restriction or hypermobility. Quality of motion assessment for the feel of the joint through its range, presence of pain or crepitus, restriction or hypermobility and assessment of end range feel. Symmetry of motion assessment, bilateral comparison to identify any asymmetry of function. Clinical test is usually performed with the patient supine, allowing good visualisation of the movement and the subtalar joint position as this influences the relative stiffness of the mid-tarsal joint. Non-weight bearing passive joint results are combined with active joint assessment and gait observations as the mid-tarsal joint plays an important role from adaption to loading to propulsion. Management options are dependent on symptoms, pathological forces and treatment-directed testing and may include physical therapies, footwear choice, prefabricated or custom orthotics. Orthotic considerations include the influence of the subtalar joint function and pathological forces. For more information on Dollar Orthotics, visit dollarorthotics.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Instagram or Facebook.